being lost, he had no one to lead him where he needed to go. So he ended up alone in a dark cave without even the light of the sun. He was a sad sight. And such a dirty mess. So they took him back to the ranch. Now, i got to correct that. In Australia and New Zealand, they don't call it a ranch. They call it a sheep station. So they took him back there so they could put him in a pen so they could arrange for the shearer to come and shear off all the wool. Now, since Shrek had been lost for six years, he had a lot of wool. They say that sheep usually produce about 10 pounds of wool a year. And Shrek, being lost six years, and I think that's how they can tell how long he'd been lost, his wool, when they sheared it off, was 60 pounds. Do you know that you can make 20 men's suits out of 60 pounds of wool? Anyway, it was quite an unusual thing when they did that. In fact, they, they, the word got out and they actually were shearing him on live TV. It took about 20 minutes to do it. And when the shearer laid him down on the ground, it was like a foot of wool between him and the ground. A lot of wool. Can you imagine what a burden that must have been to carry all that wool around and being all that dirty and matted? Simply because he didn't have the care of a shepherd. Well, you know, Jesus compared himself to a shepherd, and his followers were sheep. And if we don't stay close to the Lord, we will get lost and wander off without even noticing our situation until it's too late. Sheep will be like grazing on some sweet green grass and just keep nibbling, nibbling, and nibbling, and nibbling. And before they know it, they're out of sight of their shepherd. And they can get in big trouble if they wander off away because they can be attacked by some kind of wild animal. They could fall off a cliff or even drown. Now the shepherds carry two objects with them. They carry a rod, which is like a staff. A, 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 a rod is like a club. And a staff which is a long stick with like a shepherd's hook on it. Now the rod they use to protect the sheep, beaten, beaten off the enemy. And the staff is used to pull the sheep back away from the edge or away from going the wrong direction. So that's real helpful. And you know, we as children of God, we can get distracted by the world, trusting ourselves, and instead of trusting God for our needs. And that's why it's really important that we listen for his voice. You know, amazing fact is that if a bunch of shepherds are out and the sheep are grazing and they want to stop for the night, they'll herd all the sheep together into a sheepfold. Maybe it's maybe it's a you know a pen, maybe it's a rocked enclosure that they use. But they'll herd them all together. They might have three or four bunches of sheep in there, of three or four different shepherds. But you know, in the morning, when the dew is on the grass, the shepherds will lead them out of the fold. And you know what? They follow their own shepherd. Just like the Bible says that in John, it says, Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they will follow me. And just like the people in our story, they brought Shrek into the light, 
and they shear off all that dirty, nasty, matted dirt because Jesus is the light of the world and he can lift off those burdens that we carry. He can shame off our feet, fleece, our self-imposed burdens that we carry. We can again be recognized as Christians and we can enjoy the light of the world and be free of the consequences of sin so we can have a better life if we listen to the Good Shepherd. Okay, let's pray. Our Holy Blessed, blessed Holy Father, we thank you for these precious children and for their parents that are leading them to be here to hear the Word of God and guiding them. We thank you because they are our future, Lord. They are the future salt of the world. They are the future light of the world to let others know about your love for mankind. Lord, we thank you, we praise you, and we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.